I recall vividly my first encounter with the Gaul Carnix, a memory that still haunts my mind from my early days as a legionary soldier. Fresh from the small Roman civitas of Capua, I started my life with nothing but the toil of labour work. I was soon called up and trained as a legionary at age 20. I eventually found myself under Julius Caesar in the invasion of Britannia, 54 BC. This was an unknown land, mysterious and shrouded. We had arrived at the island, and the transport ships kept a watchful distance. Caesar deployed makeshift naves Lusorii to land troops on the beach. As my fellow legionnaires gathered and the first cohort was complete on the beachhead, whispering started as we looked into the distance, a silent, dark and misty forest that warned us to to enter. The mist-laden forests of Britannia, a place so thick and silent it felt like another world, some talk of a realm of shadows and monsters. I prayed to Jupiter for my survival. We were all relatively young legionaries, except for the few veterans who fought in the last war, the Battle of Elysia. I was on my first deployment, unprepared for the haunting encounter that awaited us. In the midst of our logistical nightmare, a deafening sound pierced through the fog, a sound unlike anything I'd ever heard before. At first, I couldn't discern what it was. The noise seemed otherworldly, a mix of a roar and a wail that resonated through the very bones of the earth. It was the Carnix, the war horn of the Gauls. Though I didn't know it at the time. This instrument, as I later learned, was a masterpiece of warcraft, standing over two meters tall and made of bronze. It was topped with a boar's head, a sacred symbol to the Gauls, adding to its intimidating presence. Its purpose was to intimidate and break morale. It was a battle signal, instilling fear and dread, a psychological weapon designed to unnerve and unsettle, particularly effective against the untrained. In the heat of battle, the Carnix was used by the Gauls to command their forces, much like our own Roman trumpets. Suddenly, Wild tribal men with bronze swords and plaid clothing started pouring out of the thick forest towards us. What seemed like naked men in paint, savagely sprinting towards us in a frenzied charge. This unpredictability mirrored the Gauls' fierce, unstructured style of combat, adding an extra layer of chaos and uncertainty. For a young soldier like me, hearing that sound for the first time, it certainly achieved its purpose, striking a chord of deep unease. In battle, the Gauls used the Carnix to direct their forces. Much as we used our own signals, the sound was erratic, unpredictable. It could signify an attack, a retreat, or a mere feint. This unpredictability added a layer of chaos to their already fierce and unstructured combat style. Beyond its tactical use, the Carnix held a deeper, almost mystical significance. To the Gauls, it was a sacred object, a means to commune with their gods and draw divine strength into battle. Now, years later, as a veteran of many campaigns, I still remember that first encounter with the Carnix. The sound cutting through the fog of that silent forest marked the beginning of my true understanding of the breadth and complexity of the world beyond our Roman lands. It was a sound that represented not just a physical enemy, but a clash of cultures, beliefs and ways of life. A sound that has stayed with me throughout my years of service.